This week's episode is sponsored by the Brilliant Futures Institute. My kids love Minecraft, and they're building their worlds within somebody else's world. The reality, what you think this reality is, is a construct that you've put together. Have you actually done anything original, or are you just taking pieces from your competition and said that this is yours because you changed it a little bit? Welcome to the Preeminence Podcast. You cannot be a courageous leader if you're not vulnerable. Your legacy is every life you've touched. The only thing that changes our life long term is when we raise our standards. Now is the time to take risk. The way it's always been done isn't necessarily the way it should be done. What is your dream? What do you think 2050, 2100 is going to look like? The most incredible sort of mystery, I think, is now the question of what comes next. Stay hungry, stay foolish. Welcome to the Preeminence Podcast. I'm your host, Matthew J. Peters. Visit preeminence.tv to learn more about how to create a preeminent presence for your business, organization, or personal brand. Be sure to subscribe on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, SoundCloud, or just ask Alexa to play the Preeminence Podcast. Here's a public service announcement. Don't outsource your creativity. Right now, you're outsourcing your creativity. I want you to think about it. If you love this VR stuff, if you're playing video games, if you're watching movies, if you're watching TV, if you're listening to music, if you're going to museums, you're being influenced by other people's creativity. If you're in the VR world, you're literally within the bounds of whatever they created. You cannot create outside of what they created. They've created that construct, that box for you to create within. My kids love Minecraft and they're building their worlds within somebody else's world. They've put the boundaries on what is possible. Sure, you can create great things in it, but that's their system. Just like our reality right now, the reality, what you think this reality is, is a construct that you've put together. You've assembled this all over your life, out of all the people you've respected, out of all your religious ideas, out of the teachings of your parents, of your clergy, of the schools, of the clubs you've been involved in, of your industry, of the media you consume, of the movies. Everything has constructed your reality. And in order for you to move to the next level, you need to challenge some of those things in your reality because you cannot create outside that box. Your box has to get bigger in order for you to become bigger. You can't create anything bigger than you are right now inside that box. You have been outsourcing your creativity. You've been waiting for people to tell you what to do. I'm telling you right now to think for yourself. Now that is a part of a construct to say think for yourself. And I want you to challenge something today that you've been buttressing all these years. Think about your political beliefs. You think one candidate is God or Satan, or you think that one ideology, this religious belief that you've believed in so long, you buttress it, meaning like you support it and you keep on building bricks onto that wall to support it. Challenge it. Who is the greatest opposition? Who's the smartest person who opposes what it is that you believe so strongly and read something of them? The funny thing is, if what you believe in is going to be challenged by that one thing you read, just think how thin, how weak that foundation is you built that belief on. Uh, you're a communist and you read something from a capitalist or you, you're a capitalist and you read something from a communist. If you're afraid that you're going to be influenced by one thing that you read, or if you're a Christian and you read something by, let's say, the Dalai Lama or from Yogananda or something like that, and you feel like, boy, if I read that, that stuff is, that stuff is evil or that stuff is, is going to really uh, influence me in a negative way. If you really think out of all the years, let's say 20 years of you believing something, political beliefs, religious beliefs, whatever it is, by reading one thing that can influence you, that's scary. If your belief is so shallow that you're afraid to read one book on it or watch one documentary on it that opposes your view, that's scary. That sounds more like brainwashing than it does actually a, a knowing, a wisdom about something, roots depth in it, that you can defend what it is you believe and you're defending through facts, not just by more beliefs. 
I believe this because I just have faith in it. Faith is in the evidence of things not seen, but they are there. You have enough evidence around you to see what is unseen. Does that make sense? Don't outsource your creativity. Don't outsource your thinking. Don't outsource your beliefs in this world. Choose your own beliefs. Go out and research and challenge as much as possible because your level of success right now is not going to grow outside this box you're living in. Go out into nature. You want to challenge yourself? Go out into nature. Look at the microscopic. Look at the macroscopic. Look at the stars. Look at the moon. Really study it. Look at a leaf. Look at a blade of grass. Look at an insect on the ground. Look at it. Study it. See how it works. See how it moves. If you don't find yourself in a constant state of amazement, you are asleep. Don't think that your creativity is not influenced by the movies you watch, by the other marketers, by other people in your industry. Have you actually done anything original? Have you actually done anything original or are you just taking pieces from your competition and said that this is yours because you changed it a little bit? You want to change the marketplace. You want to change your industry. Do something drastic. Do something amazing. Blow people away by taking those ideas from nature with the thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of years of refinement. I don't care what your beliefs are, but there's been refinement over a long period of time. And that's where it is in this current state, this perfection in this moment. Look at that perfection. Compare that to your ideas. Compare that to your beliefs and see where it stands. Don't outsource your creativity. Don't outsource your thinking. Don't outsource your beliefs. Take them all captive. Know what you believe in. That's all I have for you today. Tune in next week, and I want to share something very special with you. Thank you for listening to the Preeminence Podcast. Subscribe to hear powerful interviews and insights each week automatically downloaded the moment they go live. Share this episode with your team, your friends, and post it on social media. Let us know your comments and suggestions for the show at m at ascend.net. That's the letter M at ASYND.net.